Welcome back, Fluffs and non fluffs to some Crash Bandicoot today. Uh, so, over the past week, I have made lots and lots of progress on getting things collected. As you can see here, uh, there's only 211 out of 228 regular gems left. Uh, we have all the flashback tapes, so we're going to be doing the last one today. And as you can see on the little right hand symbol with the bull icon, bull skull icon, I have 29 of the 38 perfect relic runs done, which include a lot of the earlier ones. So everything from the early levels down to um, all the way through here. All the way through some of the hard levels like Run It By You and No Dillo Dallion. Uh, all the snow levels, even Bears Repeating and Building Bridges, which is one of the ones I was going to complain about. Uh, we have not done uh, three of these levels. We have not done the uh, few of these levels here. And we have not done any of the future levels, but I have done all of the, like, last level ones as well uh including cortex castle seeing double which is cortex castle part two and toxic tunnels you remember the one i raged so hard on about uh about everything else so yeah all of those are done and uh i'm very very happy because we're nearing the end of the series which means we can move on to other better things but without further ado, let's go ahead and find a, uh, there we go, find one of these places and we will do the last flashback tape. Hopefully it works decently well with everything. Now, I did get a new capture card, uh, so delay through it might be a little bit weird, so I'm going to have to mess with that. Oh, yeah, that is highly delayed. Give me just a moment to pause and see if I can reduce that with some of the settings. Alrighty, I think I have a better solution. I'm just gonna actually turn my setup around here and use uh, my TV. There'll be a little bit of a sound or audio delay, but I can deal with that. What I can't deal with is... Oh, shit. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, what I can't deal with is definitely video delay. Too late. Hmm. One, two. Ah, damn it. I need to uh, make sure I get those boxes down there because I can't very well. It's gonna take a second to get used to. Trying to figure what the best way to do this would be. That's a dead one. <clears throat> or when the best time to start jumping would be. Alright, cool. 
I'm glad I came back to that because that didn't go off. Which would have been <clears throat> one crate missing at the end. Although that uh, now means I have to come up with something else. is going to be slightly annoying. Beep, 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 beep. Two, three, four. I always have hard times judging the... Judging the bouncy sections like this, you would not believe how many times I freaking had to go through uh, some of those levels over and over and over and over and over to get some of the perfect runs, so... I'm hoping this one doesn't take too long because I do want to make progress on inverted levels, but. One, two, three, four, five. gonna have to utilize the uh, thing I learned from last level to uh, slide under nitro crates <clears throat> I find this m almost more annoying than the other one so far. One. How do I want to destroy these because I'm going to need to jump over and spin them. Okay. 
and then there we go. So I need to hit that, jump up there, void the nitro, come down, spin, and land down there. I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, let's try. Okay, not bad. Alright. I will take that because as soon as the Nitro Brox breaks, uh, the other crate will break, so checkpoint. I didn't think uh, to get it that uh, quickly, but hey, that's even uh, better. Uh, let's see. Ah. <laughs> That's a dead one. I'm glad that was a checkpoint because I messed that up so hard. Uh, maybe I should have left some of those uh, boxes for... Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I should have left some of those boxes for breaking. <laughs> Shit. Now, sweet fat oh, I know. I'll, I'll just do what I normally do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, break those boxes on the TNT because that doesn't work. jump and grab those, not to uh, do that. Oh well. I don't find this nearly as bad so far. A little bit annoying on timing wise, but I can get used to timing. Oh, great. this up. See if I can recover. Nope. Okay. Experiment failed. I get you, game. Yep. Didn't turn around fast enough. <laughs> and that belly flop. I keep forgetting not to go for the last box, or else I'm just going to uh, plummet into a oblivion. There. 
that do that. <laughs> Oh, I got it that time, so. Oh yeah, while I'm uh, thinking about it, I want to say hello to all the new followers that uh, cropped up over the weekend. I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time and uh, getting everything uh, there. there. Damn it. Just mistimed it. But I know that's what I'm gonna have to do, so. It's harder than it looks to do sometimes. There we go. Just do that. <laughs> and it's fun into the uh, nitro. I didn't think I was uh, actually up high enough to uh, hit that. supposed to land. Now I gotta kill the self. That works out so perfectly doing that. Definitely not Devin too. There. Try this again. I hate flame crates so much. Just because timing like that is a nuisance. I know there's probably an easier way to do that, but... Now I don't have to worry about backtracking down there. Alright, so I'm going to probably do this just to limit how many times I have to bounce on the nitro. Is there anything up there? Yes, there is. Now, question is, did I just lock myself out of getting that stuff? Answer, probably, definitely. I'll continue through and see if uh, there was... Oh, I think I know what I was supposed to do, yeah. Maybe next time I'll try a um, or a bobcat. I'm just going to explode and... I was supposed to use uh, those crates to bounce up to the other one, so I get it now. But we have a plan of action, so 
It's not gonna be without. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's not gonna be without uh, at least pointlessly trying. Okay, I should have been burned alive by that box. I am not gonna complain though. There have been times where I should have. Totally bit the dust and didn't, and you just take it there. Harder to get around than it looks. Bum, 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 bum. I really hate that they put the crates up that high. That does make them very annoying to get through. I was looking hairy for a second. Hmm. Rats. I hate that the boxes fall down on uh, large stacks like that. Because it makes it a little bit hard to get over them, per se. Maybe I don't have as much of an idea of what I needed to do than what I thought, but we'll get it eventually. And I was really surprised I got that. Maybe something like that will help. Nope. I gotta hit the edge of the nitro crate, which is really annoying. Especially since I have to go through all of this again if I fail. So, it's not a matter of being hard or whatnot, it's just tedious. Like, I'll eventually get it. But it's just a matter of, really, guys, like, why you had to do this to me? I don't even know how you're supposed to get through that.
Are you supposed to hop off the fucking nitro? I may physically have to actually look up how to uh, do this final level, so. Because I'm kind of running out of options as far as what I'm supposed to do there. Yeah, I definitely have to avoid hitting that one crate, so... <sighs> when it rains, of course. They do not make this final level easy, do they? Thought I had it figured out. You know, it's almost easier to probably hop on Wait, uh what broke uh what stopped these crates from being used? we're back and I'm glad I did that because I'd probably be here for quite a bit if I didn't watch how someone uh, took on the level here <laughs> that's not how you do it obviously but I had the first portion right up there at least until uh, uh, other things so, there is that. I'm just going to copy exactly what was done in the video, and hopefully have the same results. He did hit the switch here. And then what ended up happening is... Wait for the fire. Ah. Alright, try that again. I kind of fucked that up because you're supposed to uh, do that the first attempt and then use it to get on over the next little batch. Uh, let's hopefully we get it this time. Bump, bump, bump. And why I didn't notice the was the uh, exclamation crate there. That's why. Uh, Hmm. 
I wonder if uh, something like that could be used. Oops. Forgot about the flame crate. Try this again. Wait for those to go. Yep. And of course. He made that timing look so easy. Well, that's what happens when you actually are freaking good at Crash Bandicoot rather than being freaking terrible. <laughs> you make things look easy. Alright, try this again. That's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to knock the boxes up, kind of, and then land on it, and then be good, but... I will get eventually. Or so I hope. Now I just need to use that nitro crate and bounce. Whoa, that was close. Then time this out. Time it out, bounce over to the left over on the one crate, and then it would be good. Almost. I'm almost there. Just gotta work the last little bit of details out. Wait for fire. Eight fire crates. There we go. That part's getting easier at least. Alright. <laughs> and that is all flashback teams finished. And that one did take a little bit of time, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do one more uh, inverted level just to keep things rolling. Uh, because, as I said, I kind of want to be uh, getting uh, wrapping up all this. Um, let's see. Where did we stop on inverted levels? I think we were going through some of the snow ones. Uh, if 
finished that dino level. We finished this level. We have not done Dino Dash yet, so we will do Dino Dash inverted and see how it goes from there. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. Only one way to find out. Yeah, at least the crates are semi-glowing in this level, so... I shouldn't have too much of a hard time finding them. Whoops. Retry. I'm not gonna die that early on. I at least want to give the level one or two fair attempts to get the perfect uh, relic. Uh, I'm not going to obviously uh, try religiously on camera because some of those levels have taken me a few hours. Some of them have taken me like one attempt. So depending on the level, it could be something else. But I at least want to give it a fair attempt. And I need to get the... Wumpa crate one, so. If I remember, this level isn't actually too bad, so I should theoretically be able to uh, get it. There's the crate there. I love the uh, colored aesthetic for this world, like the crayon kind of uh, Why is that skeleton on that rock? That's kind of funny. Ah, yes, this is the T-Rex level. This shouldn't be terrible. As the chase levels are actually probably one of my more favorite uh, levels in this game. Uh, because they're paced really well, and uh, they just feel really good. Um, there we go. That should hopefully be all of those there. behind the scene levels. This is the checkpoint here. Cute little T-Rex baby dinosaurs. Ah, it's one of those. I remember now. It's the one where you gotta chase the exclamation box. Over and over and over and over. Uh, 
Um, yeah, this is the one where you gotta do this. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Kaboom. Backtrack. Lamo. And now we just got the final chase uh, section to do. I believe. Which is slightly hard because you just gotta trust that your distance gets you to where you need to go. Which is honed in rather well, but as you can see, it's easy to not jump in the right spot. So there goes the relic run, unfortunately, but it's definitely uh, something that can easily be obtained later on. Did it that time. Thing up there. Checkpoint. Alright, so it wasn't the final run in the world, so I'm not like absolutely uh, mad that we failed, but it does suck a little bit. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I believe, uh, this is the final one, which the T-Rex will smash all the crates that we don't get, so you just gotta worry about running fast and not falling into the lava. <laughs> Yeah, the last uh, run here is what makes this level really hard for me, at least, as far as... Uh, not really hard, but that's going to make it a challenge to uh, get through. It's because you just really have to trust that your jump is on point, which 90% of the time it is, like, as you've seen, that final section. All the jumps were pretty much flawless and perfect distance, but that may not always be the case, especially when you fumble thumbs things up. But alright guys, uh, this concludes the Crash Bandicoot episode for the week. So, hope you guys enjoy, and as always, stop by for more content, and see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Till then, stay fluffy, and bye-bye.